so now I'm back in the completed or the full project where the whole drawing application is finished. But here I prepared a little uh, drawing just to explain what I'll, what I'll be doing next. So next I'll be adding a slider which goes from 0 to 1. But while um, sliding up I also want to gradually reveal some lines uh, I'll visualize in red below. So while sliding this to the right, I'll also animate and reveal those red lines. So these are represented by the red lines one to four. Um, what I'll be doing is range mapping the slider values that now go from zero to one. I'll be range mapping them from one to five so that, I, that when creating those individual lines I can also like first we create line one then the line count will be one and I can store some information with this copy for line one. What do I store? With this copy I store um, the fact that this line should reveal itself if the slider values are between 1 and 2 in this case because this line is the first line so it should reveal itself when going from 1 to 2 when so let's visualize this so when sliding from 1 to 2 in white this line will know okay since i'm the first line i'll need to reveal myself between 1 and 2 the same holds for line two this one will be stored with um, a line count of two so based on this the line knows okay between two and two plus one so three i will need to reveal myself the same for line three uh, for line three the count will be three when it's created so it will store the value three and three plus one so it knows that it should reveal itself between three and four and again four will do the exact same thing and will reveal itself between those values so now while sliding from zero to one each line will know okay now it's time for me to re to reveal myself okay so back to the project we're building from scratch so now we first will be adding a slider so let's go look for a slider and this will be too big for now it or too small in this case so we will tell it uh, in the layout tab to take um, bum, bum, maybe just fill so it's actually filling the whole width from for 1280 um, but the height we will set to something about 25 maybe let's have a look shift v okay that's looking good and for the height because now it's sitting at the bottom for the height we will say pum pum we give it an offset so i know that the height of the parent panel is 720 and the height of the slider itself is 25 so i will subtract 25 from 720 and now it should sit on top okay that's looking good so let's close this down again already at a null so we can see some slider values activate this one and normally i should be able to see my slider values so that's looking good so next as i showed in the little animation drawing i'll be adding a math chop and with this math chop instead yeah i will do a range mapping so that i can map the values zero to one to a different range and this range should be uh, bum, 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 from the count to the count plus one so let's add plus one so now that we have this we probably can start using this one so let's just drag it out as this one will be the one we will use so next we can go into our master 
and we can add an execute like this and what this execute will do is that it will populate some values into a not a math but a constant so when a copy is created or a line is replicated um, this um, chop in the on create will take care of some things so on create when the line is created i want to take some uh, bum bum. i'll want to take the count value and store them here locally so this will or these channels will represent the in and out point for this line that recently or just got created so let's call it i and o for in and out and therefore we can say maybe also tl plus for timeline position um, so we can say um, operator tl plus um, bar dot value zero equals operator go look one level above counts and let's take the channel um, count if I'm not mistaken. So let's uh, say first line is drawn, the count will be one. So one will be placed in the in point channel. The same needs to be done or almost the same needs to be done for the second channel uh, but then we'll, we're setting value one um, and setting it to one unit higher so that for line one um, the in and out points would be one to two which I showed you in the small animation. So for line two, it will go from two to three. For line three, it will go three to four. And line four, it will go to, from four to five. Okay, so let's maybe test this one out already. Um, so if I start drawing, I don't have any lines. First line, there we go, have a look. It will go from one to two. Go back out, second line, we go in, two to three three and so on so this will work as expected which is good okay let's close this down again so now when sliding the slider this this one over here pay attention it goes from one or let's see is this correct um nope uh, let me check yep uh, this is not correct so it should always go from one to the count plus one so that means if we're to the far left we're at one if we're to the far right we're at four but let's uh, mirror the thing that i explained through the animation so there were four lines so that means that slider should go from one to five one to five and that seems about right and the final line is will reveal itself between four and five that's anyway what we want to um, create here so let's go out again and let's go make some changes in the master so make some room and now we can actually go out again let's have a look how this is named so let's just copy this null 3 i don't know how to call it so let's go with null 3 for now and select it from down here uh, so go look one level up for null 3 and now we can see already that if we slide it it goes from one to five but let's imagine that we're in line um, one for now um, or you know what let's just copy this one and do it straight in here okay since it is 
um, cloned it's already in here so let's work with some actual line data um, let's see how can we make this work so it, we are in line one so all the way left to right about here to two between one and two um, between this or these endpoints this line line one should reveal itself so therefore we will use a limit so limit 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 yes of course um, and we will use these two in and out channels to clamp what is coming in so we use the in point for the minimum the out point for the maximum so now when we slide we see that it's actually clamped against two that's looking good and for example if we're in line four then those will be four to five so then it will not be clamped not be clamped not be clamped but when we're here between this point and this point you'll be between four and five and then the in and out points will be four and five so it will clamp between four and five but now we also want to do some real trimming so let's take a trim chop and we should be placing it somewhere in between so let's make some room already connect this one okay so if we select the trim and we set it to absolute we can set it i think to fraction which allows you to set one oh only one so from zero to one is a full range but when you start dragging this to the left oh gradually to the left you'll ex actually see that the line is being trimmed so if it's at zero zero uh, let's just set it to zero it's actually not it won't be visible but when increasing it it will slowly reveal itself until we're at one and here we want to stop as after this one there is just nothing more to to show so we will stop at one um, in order to gradually reveal this line but this means that we need a signal going from zero to one and therefore we need again a math chop math uh, this math again some range mapping uh, boom. we want a two range from zero to one but we are coming from or into out points where it's clamped in the limit so we will also use those in points and out points and therefore this one to two sliding action is actually remapped to zero to one and now this can be used um, bum, bum, let's see in this way to drive the revealing of the line so this is it and here you can see at zero the line won't be visible but between certain points it will slowly reveal itself so if i now connect the trim to the null you will actually see the revealing of the line so that's that uh, we are not in the master so i'll just copy everything go to the master um, just remove these and just place this in here again make some room and there you go so normally if i'm not mistaken everything is doing the same uh, okay what's going on what's going on what's going on so we have in or line zero we have an in to out point of four to five which doesn't seem right so probably the master is doing something that's making it a bit 
difficult for all the lines so probably all of them have uh, an into out point uh, going between four to five which is leading to this undesired behavior so let's fix this or maybe it doesn't even need fixing if we just clear the lines and add everything yes it is working so i was having my slider still at the left but if i move it to the right i draw everything each line will be created where it holds its line count so six will start at six and reveals itself between six and seven um, we do some range mapping in order to say to the trim okay now it's my turn to reveal myself so therefore you have the revealing part ready you have the panning the zooming and so on but still we want to go further of course um, because let's say i wanted to add some additional some parallel or some some context while this line was created if i now create an extra line it will only be made visible or or it will only reveal itself after the la last line was created so the last line in this case is line six but i want to draw while drawing this line i want another line to be drawn so that i can visualize that okay while or together with this line something else needs to be shown because it's relevant it needs to be shown now if it's only gets shown at the end of this timeline or the end of this animation it doesn't yeah, have any benefit anymore or any meaning so i want it to show now and that's for now impossible so in order to make it possible we will make some changes mm -hmm. 